Hi there, uh, good afternoon everyone. Um, are you able to hear me today? Yes, doctor. Okay, great. Um, so it's 2 5 already. We are going to start our class today. Um, now, um, I plan um, to have our class just for about 45 minutes. Um, that means uh, we are going to end our class at uh, 15 minutes uh, past 2 o'clock, right? Um, because I, as I told you, right, um, the longer we are on, online, alright, um, we'll get bored easily, right? Okay, um, now, uh, furthermore, alright, chapter 2, we are supposed to um, have 3 weeks, alright, to finish our chapter 2. So I guess um, um, we could go slow, alright. So um, now another thing, as compared to other sections, um, if you notice the notes that I've uploaded, there are quite a number of exercises, alright, additional to the original slides that I have prepared, because um, I'm used to having uh, new exercises every semester. Alright, um, so that um, you know you can practice yourself um, because most students um, they would ask for more examples or more exercises so I think I've given you a, quite a number of them um, and now it depends on yourself to try it out um, if you have problem you can always uh, consult me now another thing is that today is actually the due date for your assignment one. Um, I would prefer because you are in your second year already, so you you kind of know that for your final exam you have to, um, you know, um, answer your final exam in a A four paper. Then you have to scan it. Uh, convert it into PDF and upload it. It's the same thing here. 
I would prefer you have the same practice. Okay, so um, you'll be, you know, uh, you, 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 you can get used to it. That means I would prefer you to submit PDF through uh, Google Classroom as well. Alright, um, okay, that's uh, the opening for today. Let's look at our chapter 2 where we stopped yesterday, right? Um, so, let's go back to our exercise 1. Um, now, so far, do you have any question to ask? Um, it seems like no eh? You could actually ask Stop me In uh, in the middle of uh, me Giving lectures alright So let's just Look at our uh, chap Slides for chapter 2 Alright then Okay then. Um, now, uh, now you are able to see my slides, right? For exercise one, right? Um, I hope you have tried all the exercises. I think I mentioned yesterday. Uh, you should have tried up to exercise two point one four, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Uh, two point one five or one six. Uh, it's it's fine then. I will just go through it. All right. Now. Uh, in exercise one, right? You know, uh, let's let's go back a bit, right? About Chazy and many equations, right? Okay. Now, uh, if you look at this Chazy and many equations, right? Okay. Um, I could use based on these two, this uh, both of these equations, right? I could actually, or the question could actually ask you to find velocity of the flow. Um, rate of the flow or if the rate of the flow is given alright the unknown could be the co roughness coefficient itself such as Chazy or Manning or I could ask you to find S0 or I could find ask you you know you find S0 then or you could actually uh, the question asks you to find L where you have to find S0 first right L is the length of the channel or you know I could also ask you to find the depth of flow, of course your hydraulic radius which is the R or A is unknown, alright? So you have to substitute all the known value, for example like the width of the channel and things like that, right? Um, the only unknown would be Y, okay? Um, now again, uh, we have uniform flow chapter, right? Now, uh, if you look at this slide here, uh, the first line it says two most common equation used in uniform flow uh, competition. Uh, when in the bracket you will notice that why not? Now the subscript O. All right, subscript O after the symbol Y actually represents a uh, depth of uniform flow. All right, uniform. Uh, because in chapter three and. For we will encounter other y, for example, y c, uh, y one, y three, y two, and things like that. Now, subscript O would represents depth of uniform flow, alright? Or sometimes it's just a uh, normal depth, alright? Normal depth also uh, is equivalent or similar to depth of uniform flow, alright? Okay, now. Because today we are we are going to look at exercises where you have to solve for depth of flow. That's why um, I just refer to that uh, uh, the, our equations that we are going to use, right? Um, now let's look at our exercise one, right? Um, now the question asks uh, us to find the discharge. Now when you read through the question, right? Cheesy coefficient is given. You are asked to find discharge. So it's kind of direct, right? To use the cheesy uh, resistance flow equation. So now, cheesy coefficient is given as 55. So 
ignore manning already you are going to solve it using chazy equation now now uh, in order to solve for chazy equation right you have to use um, you have to know the values of flow area hydraulic radius s not uh, and of course chazy is given right now you, first thing you have to do is you have to solve for the flow area and method parameter because the question already has given you S0 and C right? the value of C and S0 therefore the first thing that you have to do is solve for flow area now rectangular channel is very simple the flow area is B times Y uh, which is 10 times 1.5 so it's equivalent to 15 meters squared Weather parameter is P plus 2Y so therefore is 13 meter um, I hope now here's the thing I really hope you would try it because our class is actually one hour instead instead of two hours right so I would really hope you know you have some spare time you can try all the exercise yourself and we can compare it uh, whether you get A or not for this course would depend on your on your this your discipline lah basically uh, the more exercise that we have gone through uh, the faster uh, or the more competent you will get you will have to answer all these questions it's actually all these questions if you notice right it's all very direct alright um, you would actually encounter all this alright in your uh, will, uh, well your final exam your test will be the question will be similar to the exercises that we have given you alright that there's no much tricks lah alright basically it's just direct questions now um, um, then alright um, basically you have solved for hydraulic radius and weather parameter already so you just substitute alright direct substitution you substitute A is equal to 15 uh, meters squared then chazy coefficient 55 you substitute R R is A over P okay you have S not there so that would give you 25.07 meter cube per second now I know sometimes uh, you would you would struggle to solve question like this now I've given you steps already or basically I've given you solution already go back try it yourself so you understand go through it without looking at my solution um, who knows maybe you can correct my solution I don't know maybe I have you know um, some calculation error or what because I tend to sometimes I tend to do it quite fast so I might encounter some mistakes all right in my solution so you can help me solve uh, you know uh, correct my solution now that's about it exercise one all right let's look at the solution for exercise two now this is uh, um, well is more to uh, this question is more to test your fundamental in what is you know flow area or weathered parameter is about the same thing here all right now the question here gives you Manning coefficient so now you know that you have to use Manning equation instead of Chazy so um, well you know that Manning uh, is given you know Q for Manning Q is equal to 1 over N A uh, R to the power of 2 third times uh, S to the power of half right that's the formula now here let us look at the compound section here if you notice right the most the most bottom part is actually a segment of a circle all right it's not semicircular it's a segment and you will notice that all right if you draw line uh, to connect between the edge to the center of the uh, circle right you will get 2 theta you need the 2 theta to solve for the area uh, of flow as well as the weather parameter now I wanted to ask you uh, you know there's a tips uh, to whether your 2 theta is correct or not 
Um, let's try and ask Izati. Is Izati there? Okay, Izati, could you speak louder? Yes, doctor. Okay, that's great. Now, Izati, I was wondering, right? Um, would you expect two theta to be less than hundred eighty degree or greater than hundred eighty degree? Less than. Okay. Why is okay? Why is that? Uh, two theta is hundred twenty degree. Oh, oh no! Two theta. Oh no! Oh, you are giving me the answer. Is it? Um, no, my question uh -huh. is whether the uh, 2 theta would be greater or less than 180, 180 degree. Because we know that when 2 theta is equal to 180 degree, it's actually semi-circular, right? Half of the circle, yeah. right? So you, you said it should be less, right? Am I right? Is that T? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, you are correct because if you look at if you look at this segment here of the circular, you know the the depth of the fluoride is not exceeding half of the circle yet. So two theta should be less than hundred eighty because if the depth of flow is actually at the you know is half of the circle. The, your 2 theta should be 180 Now it's less It should be less than 180 degree Now how are we going to find 2 theta? Alright, the question is How are we going to find 2 theta now? I'm, go, I'm showing I'm going to show you You know uh, in This slide here Where you can get your th 2 theta here Now here's the thing um, If you look at the uh, Let's look at from the top Of this slide here, right? I've divided my compound channel Into 3 Subsections. I have section one that represents the segment of a circle, section two, a rectangular section, and section three, half of a triangular section. Oh, it's actually a triangular, right? Okay. Now, um, how I so I'm going to go step by step. Alright, I need to find the flow area for this compound section. So I'm going to find the flow area for section uh, section one plus uh, flow area for section two plus flow area for section three. The similar I would find for water parameter as well. Okay, now the first thing I need to know is what is my two theta to solve for flow area of section one, right? Let's look at the segment of circle. Eh? I've already draw drawn. Uh, on the slide there Alright Now half Alright 2 theta is the circle For the whole segment right Now let's look at half of it That means theta uh, You know that uh, It's already given You know the, the width Of the segment The top width of the segment If you look at the question right it's, It has given you 1.6 So half of it should be 0 0.8 Right, okay. Now, the radius of your circle is zero point nine meter. So, if you connect the center of your circle to any uh, point on your circle, all right, on your parameter of the circle, you will get the same radius as well, right? So, if you look at that, theta is bounded by uh, the known value would be the radius 0 0.9 and half of the surface, uh, the length of uh, 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 basically the segment, right? Uh, the top width of the segment is 0 0.8 meter. Therefore, using trigonometry function, you should be able to find your theta. So, what connects this would be the function of sine. Okay, so sine is perpendicular. All right. Uh, sorry. Uh, the opposite. All right. This is divided by your length. Uh, your um, you know uh, the dis the slanting distance there. So you have zero point eight divided by zero point nine. Okay, ten 
tangent is actually 0 0.8 divided by verti the vertical distance, right? But you don't know, alright? The vertical height there. So what you know is the one that can connect you with the sine function, which is 0 0.9 divided by 0. Point, uh, sorry, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.9. So you have that, that theta will be equivalent to uh, up sine of 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.9. So you have that. 1.095 radian or if you convert it to degree is 62.73 I, I need you to to have both uh, alright unless your calculator is using radian then you can just use the value of radian okay now um, I've told you already how to convert from radian to degree and vice versa right if you want to convert from radian to degree is just you divide it by pi uh, times uh, 180 degree so you get 62.73 right uh, therefore since we are using 2 theta as well therefore you just times 2 lah alright so you have 2.19 radian uh, or in degree 125.47 or 0 0.5 uh, for significant number right now Let's look at how we solve for flow area. So A1 is a segment of a circle. So I have the formula there. D squared over 8 uh, times 2 theta minus sine 2 theta. A2 is a sec section of a rectangular. Alright, section. I have there B2 times Y2. And Section 3 is half our triangular section. So, Z3 times Y3 squared divided by 2. Because it's half, right? So, what is my D1? Now, the question gives you radius of 0 0.9. So, your diameter is 0 0.9 times 2, which is 1.8. Alright? So, you have that. Now, substitute 2 theta. Alright, so uh, because this 2 theta should uh, is in uh, radian, whereas your sine, you need to use uh, degree. So when you solve for sine 2 theta in degree, you'll get a value in radian as well, uh, or uh, in a unit, alright, um, not in degree, alright. And then what is B2? If you look at B2, alright, if you look at section 2, your width, of section 2, bottom width of section 2 is 1.5 plus 1.6. That would be 3.1. What is your Y2? Y2 is 1.2. Alright, so you substitute all those known value, you have A2 already. Now, what is Z3? Now, I told you Z is the horizontal scale when the vertical is equal to 1. So, in order to make vertical equal to 1, you divide by 2. The same for horizontal, you divide by 2. So, your Z is equal to 1.5 times Z3 is 1.2. So, squared divided by 2. So, solving the whole expression, you have A equals to 5.357 meters squared. Alright. Um, so far... If you have question, you may drop your question in the chat box, alright? Um, I will, we'll, we, we shall discuss it, alright? Now, let's look at weighted perimeter. Okay, this, uh, you, you have to really look at, uh, listen to this properly, eh? Now, for segment, for section 1, alright? The segment of a circular is direct, which is theta times d. Uh, your D is 1.8 meter, right? So, theta is 1.095, alright? Okay. Now, what is your P2? You know, the dash line is not the boundary of your channel, eh? It's just for me to cut it into different sections. Your boundary is the one with solid line, alright? So, your P2 is actually 1.5, the horizontal line, eh? You cannot you you cannot add one point six because there's there isn't a boundary of channel there. It's just one point five plus you have one side the vertical 
side of the uh, section which is 1.2 alright which represents the boundary of the channel so for wetted perimeter of section 2 is just 1.5 plus 1.2 alright so you have that now how about the wetted for perimeter for section 3 now is this the dis uh, the um, the length of the slanting uh, side slope alright which is alright uh, we are taking only the distance of uh, uh, the measurement of only one side slope alright which is y3 times square root of 1 plus z3 square alright so you have that substitute y3 you know already is 1.2 meter z3 is 1.5 so substitute all those your water perimeter is 6.834 meter now I know that some of the reference book, okay, they actually they actually have cut, you know, uh, try to find R one is uh, R one R two R three, which is R one equals to A one divided by P one, R two is equal to A two divided by P two. Now for my section. Alright, I would prefer you to find your R equals to total A divided by total P. It's simpler that way, alright? So, um, now you can solve for, solve for your uh, R using the total A divided by total P. Alright, now, I, I in this solution here, I didn't solve for R first because I just, if you look at my solution, for the I substitute in Manning, right? I directly substitute my R equals to A divided by P. Alright? So, I have there, okay, Q, uh, I substitute in Manning equation, right? Because Manning uh, coefficient is given. I have Q equals to, I substitute my Manning uh, coefficient. I substitute my flow area. And then, uh, vector parameter as long well, and and as well as uh, uh, my longitudinal slope so I have there Q equals to 6.5 for 6 meter Q uh, Q sec alright so uh, I hope you will understand this uh, question here alright um, could may I know any of you you know have problem understanding this solution here anyone you are still with me right uh, how about Loh Ka Kiong? Is Loh there? <laughs> you guys are missing already, is it? <laughs> uh, Nabiha? Is Nabiha there? No, no, Nabiha. Um, how ah uh, Nabiha? Do you have any problem solving this question here? I cannot. I couldn't hear you, Nabiha. How about uh, Aiman? Aiman Salsabila? Nabiha, you have unmuted your speaker but I couldn't hear you. Okay, uh, okay then. Alright, okay. Now, I, you guys are still there, right? Atika as well, eh? Siti not Atika? Yes, doctor. Okay, that's great. Okay. Atika, I was wondering, and also Aiman, are, are you guys okay with this uh, question here? Uh, yes. Uh, sure, eh? Okay. Uh, yes, Lo, I call you. I was wondering whether you are still following me. Okay. <laughs> oh, just how you go. Okay, okay, no, no worry. Okay. But I think when you go to wash washroom, uh, you go to restroom, you kind of miss my explanation already, eh? Okay. I, I just actually need your focus, need your time for about, uh, I told you, 45 minutes like that only. Alright, then I'll let you go. Okay, then. Um, you know, this solution, I'm going to share... Uh, 
Okay, okay. I, I'm going to present. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, you you asked No Kakyong to open the camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, now. Um, the solution that I've prepared the solution that I have prepared, uh, the one that wasn't, uh, uh, which are not in your slides, right? I'm going to share it through WhatsApp, eh? Um, so that you can help me check too. Uh, again, um, I would advise you to go through it yourself. All right. Uh, don't don't worry. I'm going to share. Uh, the answers. All right for exercise one. Um, Wing, Wing Hong, do you have anything that you want to ask? For exercise 1? Wing Hong, are you there? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to share it with, uh, on WhatsApp. Eh? Alright, if you don't have anything, uh, if you want to correct my solution, then you may voice it out now, alright? Uh, if not, we can actually discuss it in the WhatsApp group as well. Okay. Now, for activity 2.2, .2, uh, I'm not going to discuss it because the solution is there already. Uh, I just hope you try it out. Uh, actually, I've noticed, I, I forgot which activity. There might be some mistakes in the solution. But I want you to try to help uh, me. Uh, just help me identify which one. <laughs> Alright, which mistake. Uh, the mis where is the mistake is I, I don't know I kind of forgot already okay so I'm going to skip all this already alright we have gone through that now let's uh, this some of it is very direct no uh, if you notice as, as so far right all the question asks quite direct lah. direct question where it asks you to find either velocity of the flow or rate of the flow which is the discharge activity 2.6 ask you to find the S0 which is the longitudinal or the bottom slope of the channel right uh, given uh, the discharge the discharge is already given the question alright it's just you have to rearrange lah, your equation basically um, now activity 2.7 asks you to find the roughness coefficient C and N basically you have to do it twice uh, the first time you use a cheesy uh, roughness uh, equation to solve for cheesy and um, the second set of solution you need to use Manning equation um, you know yesterday I actually explained to you um, how you why this you know why it is uh, z equals to tangent theta divided by 2 right um, here you know I have a box um, I kind of have a you know uh, box here where I sh I'm showing you how you actually get 75 divided by 2 now you take alpha I'm using alpha eh? uh, there is another beta too right you can use either one either you want to use uh, alpha or beta basically alpha is half of 75 degree and actually is equivalent to the slope that uh, the side of the channel mixed with the vertical uh, vertical um, side alright so you are going to have alpha equals to sorry tangent alpha equals to z over 1 or you may use beta beta is uh, sorry uh, tangent beta is equal to 1 over z alright so beta would be 90 degree minus 75 divided by 2 lah alright uh, so you will get the same answer no matter which angle either alpha or beta that you use you are going to get the same z same value of z right okay uh, I hope you understand eh? uh, where we are actually where we get our z alright because I could give you you know z I could give you um, um, you know I, I'm I'm I could ask you to solve for z given given an angle, given a s value or a percentage value. All right, you just need to understand that. All right, now um, activity two point eight. All right, 
uh, ask you to find the length okay of the channel now uh, elevation at the beginning and end of the channel what is it about i've shown you i'm going to show you here all right um the one that one over z is the uh, slope of your side uh, side side slope of your uh, cross sectional chan uh, cross section of your channel uh. all right the s naught is actually the slope uh, of your channel along that's why we call it longitudinal slope all right along the distance of your channel all right so you have that uh, i'm using alpha here s not equals to tangent alpha or how do you get your s not is you have uh, vertical distance uh, that means your 685 minus 60 650 divided by your l all right the length of the channel now by right okay you would you know what some of you might ask me why not the length of the channel is the uh, slanting length all right it's actually i i could uh, accept both answer all right i could accept both answer actually the length of the channel is slightly more than l okay you could actually solve it all right it's simple because you already have your s not right okay uh, if you give me the horizontal length, it's fine with me too. Alright? So, S not basically 685 minus uh, 650 divided by L. Uh, since, alright, you solve for your S not using many equations already, you can actually solve then uh, using the S not, you can solve for L. Alright? So, I hope that helps you lah. Alright? Um, now, again, okay, uh, I'm going to share, you know, um, the link. Eh? Oh, I think I already shared the link in the WhatsApp group, so I don't have to give it one more time here. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, no, okay. Okay then, let's look at exercise three. Eh? Um, exercise three. Um. I, I actually have another 10 minutes with you, okay? Because I promise you, today's class is only 45 minutes, right? Okay. Now, for SLS3, uh, it involves a triangular channel uh, with apex angle of 60 degree. Q is given already, okay? Now, the question asks you to find coefficient C. So, you know already you are going to use uh, Chazy coefficient. Uh, sorry, Chazy roughness equation. Uh, which is Q equals to C A R to the power of half S not to the power of half right now um, you know there's a box here on the uh, uh, in the solution right on the top uh, right corner there uh, I actually show how did I came up to you know A to the power of two third now in your cheesy equation right you have a a there you want to combine it with your hydraulic radius which is a over p right so your a is actually 2 over 2 you times a to the power of half when you combine a multiplication uh, uh, parameter there your uh, power value right the, your superscript it's actually the addition of them, alright? So you are going to get a to the power of 2 over, oh sorry, 3 over 2, alright? Uh, for multiplication purposes, you just add your power up, alright? Um, now, uh, again, alright, you may solve for your z, the side slope, eh, z. Uh, either you can use tangent 30 degree. Or you can use tangent 60 degree. You are you will end up having the same z, right? Um, so rearranging your cheesy uh, roughness flow equation uh, by you know uh, having c uh, as a function of the other uh, parameters there. Uh, so and rearranging. I'm co I'm combining my flow area and r so i have my a to the power of 3 over 2 uh, divided by p to the power of half right so i substitute them 
all the known values, I get my C equals to 23.68. Please, please try again. Alright, without looking at my solution, try again and com then compare your solution with mine. Alright, if there is, um, if there is e uh, irre irregularities in our solution, they, then we can discuss in the group. Alright. Um, now my of course I I need to solve my flow area and water parameter ahead lah before I substitute to find my C alright so that is the solution for exercise three and eh? I hope you are following me now um, now exercise four is actually involved um, you know uh, early of the class I told you I could actually ask you to find depth of flow as well now. For the depth, this exercise for here involve, uh, you know, involve a question where you need to find the depth of flow. Okay, uh, let's look at step by step. It involves a rectangular channel, so it's a simple section. Eh? Uh, Q is given, S not is given, N is given. Now, uh, you need to solve for your A and P. So B is given, eh? the width of your channel is given. So. Uh, you don't know your depth of flow so but you do know that the symbol for your uniform depth is y not eh? so um, I don't mind if you just use y eh? it doesn't matter uh, but for subsequent chapter 3 and 4 I think it is easier if you use y not eh? so your full area is 3 times y not eh? um, so and then your weighted parameter is b plus 2y you know b is 3 meter right so substitute all the known values so you have p equals to 3 plus 2y uh, then substitute this into your manning flow manning resistance flow equation right uh, now you need to arrange your equation all right because you know that you you need to find your y your A and R is actually in a function of Y, the depth of flow. But you know the values of Q, N and S not already. So put it aside uh, on one side. The unknown, you put it on the other side. So you have there uh, A, R to the power of 2 third equals to Q, N as, uh, divided by S not to the power of half. Now, substitute uh, here, I combine my A already eh. Uh, a to the power of 4 over 3 divided by P to the power of 2 third. So I substitute my A and P. Alright, so I have there and solving for QN over S0 to the power of half, I have there 0 0.6133. Now, how am I going to get my Y0? Okay, one of the method, one of the way, uh, ways is I do try and error. If you look at the table below at the bottom there, right, I actually try you know uh, substituting y not equals to 1 0 0.1 so I will get my AR uh, to the power 2 third equals to 0 0.0925 uh, my my goal is to get AR to the power of 2 third equals to 0 0.6133 okay so uh, I just try another value of point uh, y not 0.2.3 up to 0.5 now AR to the power 2 third has already exceed 0.6133 now I'm going to try you know uh, value between 0.4 and 0.5 so I'm trying 0 0.41, 0 0.42 then I keep on trying until I can get y not equals to 0 0.4571 now this is the way that I learned before during my time okay but you have a better calculator where you can actually try, you know, you key in this expression here in your calculator. That means you key in uh, open bracket 3 times y not uh, or times a, you know, it doesn't matter you use y or any other, you know, uh, parameters there, symbol there. You close bracket to the power of 4 third divided by open bracket 3 plus 2 times y close bracket to the power of 2 third and uh, equals to 0 0.6133 then you press something like solve you can actually your calculator will give you a di 
a value which is uh, you know almost equivalent to 0.4571 now I'm not going to teach you how you are going to use your calculator to solve it here you have to learn it by yourself because it's hard for me to teach you uh, through online I hope okay uh, you could try it uh, I think you may you learn it through YouTube video or, but please make sure you have to learn how to solve try and error to get that of flow because chapter 3 chapter 4 you are going to solve for why not as well not just why not you also have to solve for yc which is a critical depth of flow using your calculator solving it through try and error so please 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 try to learn okay how you are going to solve the expression expression using your scientific calculator okay i'm just showing you the table below i'm just showing you the um the way we do it a uh, long time ago which is i think um that would be you know more than 25 years ago lah all right uh, i'm almost 50 years old already so that would be like you know uh two three decades ago where i learned how to solve using you know uh, an older model of calculator so since you have a better version model of calculator you can solve it directly all right uh, all right um, chapter 5 uh, is actually uh, exercise 5 sorry exercise 5 is actually similar to one of the uh, activity where you need to find the length of a channel eh? uh, so it's, it's quite direct uh, you need to find for S0 okay then you can solve for your L basically eh? okay uh, I'm going to stop here uh no no i i think i'm just going to go for another few slides all right uh 250 yeah? we are going to start uh at 250 now what is conveyance all right conveyance is measure of carrying capacity when i say carrying capacity is the discharge yeah? is a q yeah? of the channel section per unit longitudinal slope you know longitudinal slope is s not right so basically, is Q over S naught to the power of half equals to C A R to the power of half for Chazy and many K convenience K eh, is actually equal to Q divided by S naught half, which reflects the definition. That means carrying capacity over longitudinal slope. All right, that is your K. And what is section factor? Remember. When we want to solve for our depth of flow just now, right? Uniform depth of flow just now, we rearrange our Manning and Chazy, right? In terms of AR to the power of 2 thirds equals to QN divided by S0 half, right? AR over 2 thirds is actually a function of depth of flow. So, but uh, what I'm trying to say is we actually have written our formula earlier to solve that equation, uh, to solve that question in terms of suction factor. Section factor, alright, is AR to the power of 2 third in Manning, eh? For Chazy, is AR to the power of half, eh? Which is a function of depth of flow. That means section factor is a function of flow, lah, the definition, right? Um, now, the other, I hope you will try, eh? The other, uh, you, you could go through. And by end of today, I'm going to post... Uh, assignment number two because today you have to submit your assignment number one. Then uh, by the end of the today, end of today, I'm going to post assignment number two so you can try. Uh, you can try to solve for assignment number two already. Okay. Um, now I I'm going to finish my class already. It's already two fifty one. Um, so this is it. Now, um, what I'm going to do, you know, um, I would try to improve my teaching because I think um, some of you might not be comfortable with me, you know, just me talking alone. Uh, I would try to make it more interactive in the next next session. Um, well, asking more questions, all right, to some of you. Um, 
I I hope I could cover all of you lah basically. Um, now, uh, up to today's class, which uh, up to section factor lah basically. Do you have any questions so far? Oh, thank you, Amira. Okay. <laughs> I really hope I could teach you face physically lah. Basically face to face. It's easier for me to, you know, show uh, some of the, you know, solution and things like that. Um, do you have any question, any of you? So far? Again, again. Um, no question. Okay, that's good. Again, again, um, you know, chapter 1, chapter 2. It's actually the beginning of our hydraulics. Uh, try to understand it as much as possible. I told you already, uh, you will enjoy the subject if you find it easy. Um, now, some of you might find it difficult because you don't understand and you can't solve uh, some of the questions. But actually, it's kind of direct. If you have problem, ask me anytime. WhatsApp me. Uh, I, I will try to respond to you. Um, now, if you didn't ask me any question and you have problem, I, I, and since I don't know what's bugging you, right? So I cannot help you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not actually. Uh, let, let's just say, um, I, I, I want you to, uh, understand chapter one and two because. Uh, as the chapter goes, um, you know, goes uh, uh, deeper, uh, for example, chapter 3 and 4, uh, is actually chapter 3 and 4 is actually extension of chapter 1 and 2 because we are going to uh, look at problems involving non-uniform flow already. Uh, so, um, it's going to get more exciting lah I'm not going to say more complicated right <laughs> I'm not going to say the negative word so um, okay then um, I hope alright um, you enjoy today's lesson uh, tr make sure you submit your assignment 1 uh, to, by today if you have problem of submission and things like that uh, you can actually uh, submit through whatsapp too lah okay I, I'm accepting it too alright uh, okay then, I'll see you next week. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Make sure you sub, uh, you fill up your attendance, eh? Okay, doctor. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you, doctor. Alright, you're welcome. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, thank you doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Uh, Doctor? Yes. Uh, uh, can I ask you? Yes. Yes. Uh, can I ask regarding to exercise 4 that you have explained just now? Sure. Let's, let's look at exercise 4. Okay. Uh, just a second. Eh? I'm going to show exercise 4 right now. Um, okay then. Uh, exercise 4. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, doctor, just... I Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, Loud and clear. Okay, I just a bit confused related with the try and error. Okay. Okay, so like, so uh, when we, I mean, after the calculation, we will find the why not, right? Yeah, Which is true. 0, 0 0.4571 meter. So I was wondering, like, okay. Uh -huh. it, okay, so I was wondering, like, uh, you have to mention we have to do try and error. Yeah, because we so cannot that, solve it directly. <laughs> Uh, so that's the part that I'm I'm not really like understand. So what I I mean like uh like once we found zero point four five seven one, mm -hmm. so like the I don't really understand what's the next step that I have to I have to do. No, okay, okay. Let's let's just stop before four point zero point four five seven one, alright? Okay. Uh right. look at the expression uh just before the the word try and error, okay? Now 
can you right. solve or why not using based on that expression? Okay, why not? Mm -hmm. Can you solve or why? Using, uh, using, you mean the expression? The expression, uh, just the expression. Can you solve it directly? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Therefore, am I right? You just have to do, try, you know, substitute y just to All make right. sure uh, the expression you'll get equals to 0 0.6133. Am I right? Oh, okay. Uh, that, is, that is why we call try and error, and error therefore you try it again <laughs> right all right uh, so, now, okay. but, right as i told you right you have a better model of calculator you can actually key in the expression makes it equal to 0 0.6133 and you can get the y directly from the calculator oh okay uh, but you have to keep in the expression lah. The expression would be you open bracket three times y. You close bracket to the power of four over three. The whole expression lah, basically divided by open bracket three and things like that. Uh, oh, until I get y not equal to uh, no. Point. And then no, I think you just have to press a button which is a soft button on your calculator. Then you can the calculator give actually straight away will give you the answer of zero point four five seven one. Uh, okay. Uh, but you okay, have to learn saying. that. Yes, you have to learn that yourself. <laughs> Alright, sure, sure. Okay. Alright, uh, that's all for the question okay, I want to ask. Okay. okay, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. <laughs>